Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Panamson Daily Financial Recap. Uh, let's dive into today's top financial news. So first up, in the United States, the mortgage rate have taken a downward turn and the average uh, contract interest rate for 30-year uh, fixed uh, mortgage rate with uh, conforming loan balances dropped by 20 basis points to 687 in the week and July uh, 14th. So let's look at... Uh, S&P 500, so currently it's uh, up. So yeah, uh, additionally, the average uh, contract interest rate for a 30 year fixed rate mortgage with jumbo loan uh, balance also decreased to 689 from 704. So the decline in mortgage rate uh, can be attributed to a softer than expected uh, inflation data which has uh, raised expectation that Federal Reserve may soon end its tightening campaign. So uh, moving on to the Eurozone. So let's look at uh, European market. So yeah, this is Euro uh, stock uh, 50. And uh, yeah, in Euro area, uh, inflation confirmed at 5.5, making the lowest uh, level since January 2022. So uh, this decline was primarily driven by the decrease in energy prices. However, the core inflation rate, which uh, excludes uh, volatile items like uh, food and energy, increased to 5.5 from uh, preliminary estimates of 5.4. So this uh, supports uh, the view that policymakers at the European Central Bank, ECB, are likely to continue rising rate in the coming months while energy prices tumble uh, other categories such as food alcohol tobacco non-energy industrial goods uh, so softer price increase still so on a monthly basis uh, consumer price advanced by 0 0.3 in june in euro area so shifting our focus to united kingdom so uh, today uk 100 uh, up by 176 percent uh, yes, yeah, so a really good session for UK. Uh, and consumer price inflation in the UK slowed to 7.9% in June 2023, making the lowest level since March 2022. So this decline can be attributed to a slump in fuel prices and the core inflation rate, uh, which excludes energy and food, also uh, is to 6.9 from May uh, 30, uh, one year high uh, of 7.1. So despite the recent slowdown, both uh, rates remain well above uh, Bank of England's 2% target. So providing room for the central bank to continue its ongoing uh, policy tightening campaign. So notably downturn effect uh, were observed in transportation prices, food and non-alcoholic beverages, uh, furniture and housing mm, household uh, goods. So on the monthly basis, uh, consumer price rose by just 0.1% in June, and in Europe, car registration uh, continued to show growth. So passenger car registration in European Union rose by 70% uh, year over year, or almost uh, 18%. So to 1 million units in June 2023. So this uh, mark uh, the 11th consecutive month of increase for European uh, registration in car segment and the largest market in uh, EU, including Germany, Spain, France, and Italy, all experience solid uh, growth. And battery electric car registration also soared, jumping by 66% to 158,000 units in May, accounting for 50% uh, of the uh, European market for new registered uh, cars. So, uh, and so for the first half of the year, uh, advanced by 70% compared to the same period in 2022. So, although sales were still down by 21% compared to the same period in 2019. So, and turning to Japan, let's look at Japan market. So, Japan session today uh, up by almost uh, half percent. Uh, currently 
and uh, yes so uh, that nas nikkei yeah nikkei uh is up and the uh tanken sentiment index for manufacturer in japan fell uh yeah to just three in july plus three from plus eight in june so this decline uh is the first in six months in and it's mainly due to growing uh, exports concern about uh, slowing uh, external demand as well. Uh, so various industries, including steel, oil refinery, uh, food processing, reported particularly large slump in sentiment. So despite the decline, uh, the monthly uh, survey, which preceded the Bank of Japan quarterly uh, Tankin report, uh, remained positive for the third straight month, indicating the a uh, number of firms uh, considering business uh, condition as good still uh, outbound those uh, considering them as poor. So in the US, uh, the housing market is shown uh, resilience and yeah, Wells Fargo housing market index increased uh, to 56 in July 2023 and the highest level uh, yeah, since June of last year. So. This surge is uh, in sentiment is attributed also to low existing uh, inventory, which is keeping demand strong for new uh, houses. So despite rising mortgage rates, elevated uh, construction cost and uh, limited lot uh, availability. Uh, so currently single family home sales rose to 62 and the gouge for the uh, prospective buyers increased by Three points to four. So, however, the sub index um, for home sales over next six months decreased by two points to sixty. So, builders remain uh, continuously optimistic about market condition, uh, acknowledging the impact of the Federal Reserve ongoing tightening cycle. So, uh, yeah. Also, in U.S. stock market, the Dow Jones has been on uh, incredible winning sticks. So. Let's look at Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, uh, yeah, up by half percent today. And uh, yeah, so Dow Jones has been on a winning stick, reaching its longest a stretch of gain in nearly four years. So the index added over 100 points and has uh, held above a level of uh, 35,000 level. At the same time, the S&P 500 traded slightly higher reaching levels not seen since April 2022 as well. So yeah, uh, let's look at S&P. So uh, maybe a yeah. uh, further chart. So yeah, basically we have those level in April uh, 22 uh, as for uh, S&P. So yeah, really, really good session. And uh, let's look also at Nasdaq. So Nasdaq also yeah has uh, quite good winning uh, recently and yeah so Nasdaq experienced a slight dip today but uh, managed to recover so now currently is uh, up by 0 0.12 uh, percent for the day and due to the tech shares uh, wiping out uh, some areas gain at trend traders are eagerly awaiting quarterly results from companies such as Tesla, Netflix, IBM and uh, United Airlines, which are uh, scheduled to be announced after the closing bell uh, today. So among uh, notable stocks movement uh, today, Verizon and AT&T shares surged by 5% and 8% respectively, following a uh, uh, lead cable uh, driven sell off and shares of Goldman Sachs rebounded by 1.8% quarterly. Uh, yeah, today 1.8, despite reporting the lowest quarterly profit in almost six uh, years. So yeah, and on the other hand, shares of Carvana jumped almost uh, 22% uh, after the company announced uh, uh, debt restructuring and Microsoft and Alphabet. However, yeah, today experience. Uh, slight decline of about 1%. So uh, let's also look at our trading portfolio. So currently uh, it's, yeah, it's 
up. So we are pleased to announce that our current trading portfolio has shown impressive growth. Uh, it's up by almost 48,000, 48,140 currently. So it's uh, moving all the time and with a total value uh, surpassing yeah, 1,075,000. So yeah, and let me tell you about the top performer. So currently top performer, despite uh, losses today of 0.2%, is FNGU, so 10 uh, FUNK mm, stocks. Uh, they are almost equally weighted and also with uh, triple uh, leverage. So we have uh, invested 30,000 in this and currently we've gained of about 18%. So PNL of 5,400. So the average buying price of this particular uh, asset was 187, 187. So yeah, maybe decrease the chart. So 187, so it was here. Yeah, so we enter a position around uh, this level. So yeah, or all, all good. Uh, and yes, it's up exactly 18%. So all good. And yeah, so here was a, a nice breakout. So really good trade. So what was the second best? Yeah, so second best trade is on financial sector. Financial sector that is uh, also with triple uh, leverage. And let's look. So average price was 60.6 60 60.6 .6. so the trade took place somewhere 60.6 yeah around this level and yeah currently it's 18 percent so yeah all good i remember yeah i have like a double trade so uh totally invested 30,000 by but as usual, most trades are done uh, with around 5 or 10K. So uh, I think like I did uh, here one trade and also uh, add additional position when the small reversal was present. So yeah, so <laughs> really good. And yeah, hopefully it will uh, surpass even 50. But yeah, market is as always uh, unpredictable. So uh, we need to wait. And as usual, uh, it's just educational uh, material. So you can research uh, and know what's going on the market. So uh, yeah, uh, that's it for today of announcing daily financial recap. Uh, stay tuned for more updates tomorrow. And remember to make informed decision and have a great Trading day. See you tomorrow.